Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today is such an exciting day. It is my moving day. I'm so excited. I literally can't even cope. It is so early in the morning. It's only like eight, eight o'clock in the morning right now. But I'm back in Leeds and we have to meet the people at 10 o'clock. So we've got so much stuff to pack in the car. I'm actually a bit stressed because I don't know whether everything's actually going to fit in the car. And then I'm moving in to my own apartment today. I can't believe it. I've been home for a few days. I've literally been counting down the days like it's Christmas. Like when you're kidding, you're like three more sleeps, two more sleeps. Last night I was like... Oh, tomorrow morning and then obviously I've gotten up and we've got to go to Manchester's. Last night I was sat um, having a drink downstairs and I was thinking this time tomorrow I'm just going to be sat in my own apartment drinking probably a glass of wine even though I said I'm not drinking you know it's a celebration today is a big day. So guys I'm so excited I honestly can't even tell you I've done so much shopping this weekend I was going to bring you along but literally I've been dashing here there everywhere to try and get everything ready in time to move in obviously i don't have furniture because that's all been ordered my own furniture isn't going to be in the apartment because that's still on order but there is a furniture in there that um comes with the apartment so i'm moving in with that furniture but i've got everything like knives and forks pots pans candles books bedding towels guest towels i literally have everything i'll show you the pile that we're gonna have to try fit in a car which is 100 percent i'm gonna have my tvs i've got both tvs which take up literally half of the car so yeah that's don't know how that's gonna work out thought i'd bring you along today just show you a moving vlog show you what i've been buying show you like bits of my apartment obviously i'm not gonna show you my whole apartment for safety i'm just not gonna do that Bentley, my little doggy, is here with me and he's, I feel like when I come home for the weekend, he loves it and then he knows that I'm going, like he knows I'm leaving, so he's been sulking this morning. What's wrong? Are you sad that Mary's going? No. What's wrong? There's no need to sulk, is there? How beautiful is my dog, please? Bentley, the most beautiful doggy I've ever seen. Yeah. You hear him speaking, he's speaking back. Yeah, you do you agree, don't you? Yeah, you tell me. Yeah. Same. Same, baby. So, yeah, Bentley's sulking, but today I've got my mum and my dad coming over to Manchester helping me move in. And then tonight, I'm going to be in and settled. So, guys, honestly, I know I keep saying I'm excited, but this I feel like this is going to be the best day of my life yet. Yeah. I feel like this is going to happen, then in a few weeks I'm going to get my car... My whole life is just going to start coming together. So I feel like this is the start of a new chapter for me. I really do think this today is a mark of a new chapter. So God, I'm so excited. So this is what we've got to try and fit in to a car. As well as my TVs and stuff downstairs. But honestly, like, oh, I've got everything. Glasses, books, plates, towels. Honestly, guys, I'm so excited to show you everything. The car is packed. We're now having to take two cars because, obviously, as you can see, my TV's took up most of the room. Bentley's sad that I'm leaving. Bentley, you look massive on there. He's only taught time in real life. He's sad that I'm leaving. Hey, you, baby. But I will probably still come home this week. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm leaving forever. I'm gonna come home all the time. It's time to go. Bye, baby. Bentley's going to stay at my grandma and granddad's whilst we're not here. Give me a kiss. Kiss. Oh, Bentley, give me a kiss. He's mad. So we've made it to Manchester. Look at how we have driven with the car. Yeah, my dad has driven me here and then my mum is following in another car. I've been to the office, given them my passport. So literally we're five minutes away from me getting my keys. I can't wait. The worst thing is going to be getting all of this out of the car park into the apartment. Manchester city centre is literally the worst. We're following my maps and my dad said he's probably got 20 bus tickets two tram tickets and double parking tickets because <laughs> everything we went the wrong way every time but we're now five minutes away and we're meeting them there and we get my keys i don't know whereabouts the car park is i don't know how to get into it so we're gonna have to call them in a minute but i'm so excited we've literally got all this stuff another car full of stuff and then i need to go to ariana's later to pick up my clothes it's there Keep on, keep right. I'm not coming off yet. 
So then we've got to go to Ariana's later, pick up my clothes at there, and then bring them over. And I haven't even brought any clothes from Leeds yet. That's going to have to be another trip, and I'm going to have to go home. So, guys, I've got the keys, and I'm in my apartment. We've made it. Oh, my dad are in the background. The woman's just showed us around everything. Didn't listen to any of it, so I'm not going to know how to switch my heating on or anything. It's literally freezing cold because there's no heating in here, so... Yeah, it's freezing. It's obviously got all the furniture in it, but I am going to keep this until um, my furniture comes in a few weeks' time, so at least I've got things to move in with. Then this will all be going into storage. And now we've just got the task of getting everything out of the cars, bringing it up. It's going to take absolute ages. But, yeah, when I've got everything up, I'll start showing you guys what I've got with me, what I've brought, what I've bought. We'll start unpacking. So the car is unloaded. We nicked for some lunch because we was all starving. And I don't know what's going on with this weird shadow. If I come down like this, it disappears. But just going to have to make do with the shadow. So this is my bathroom. My ensuite. Oh, as I'm going to unpack everything, I might as well unpack room by room and just show you what I've put, what I've got for which room. There's not loads of stuff, but you know, it's nice to show you what I've got. So my towels, I'm going to do white in here. So I got this bath rug from Amazon. Um, Clarice actually has this bath mat in her apartment and I was like, please send me the bath mat because it's just so like nice. Then I got white towels from Dorma, from Dunelm. I was like, I just really want my towels to be really fluffy. Just, just, you know, just towels just nice. Then I've also bought a black towel for when I fake tan. Because obviously my white beautiful towels would get ruined. Then I also got this cam candle because in here it's white and silver. And my grandma actually got me this from M&S. It's blush peony and it smells so nice. And I just thought because it's silver in here, not many places of silver, it looked really nice. So I'm going to get a collection of candles to put on my shelving. Hey. Look how cute that looks. So the thing I've been most excited about, probably through the whole apartment, was these that I got. The hand soaps for the bathroom, the kitchen, and the guest bathroom. So in here, because it's white and silver, I thought I'd do like a pinky purpley theme. Look how nice they come packaged. Hand soaps. Mega. So in here, I'm going to put the Grizz Dior. Can we just take a moment for how nice these are packaged? It'll be one pump only. People trying to use my hands up to my house. Eh, hey, mum. One, one, one pump. Yeah? If you're not going to have this two, three pump, it'll be one. Look how beautiful that is. Like, beautiful. So, I'm going to put this happily on display next to my sink. I just got a little bin, because obviously you always need a bin in your bathroom, well I do anyway, because I have so much shit. So it's just a little bin from Amazon, nothing special, it's like £15. Yeah, just thought it'd be nice fit in the corner of the room. And then because the bathroom is marble, I just got a marble toilet brush. You've got to have them guys in your house. This was from Dunelm. So most of my things I got was like from Amazon, Dunelm. Where else did I get stuff from? Home base. Next. Just the usual home places. I'm just gonna fold these like this. One arm in, two arm in. And then, just fold it down and down again. Perfect. I feel like I've got a little bit of OCD when it comes to folding towels, like they have to be perfect. So this is gonna take me a minute or two. I also got this little mirror and it was just from Tesco. I think it was like £15, so what a bargain. Obviously I know I need to get more things for the shelves to fill. So we've got the hand soap, the thing, the towels are folded up here. And then the bath mat is perfect size. First bathroom is complete. Now my bedroom. So this is my bedroom. The lighting in here is <laughs> horrendous. So, obviously at the minute my bedroom looks nothing like it is going to look. I'm getting the luxury bed company and making me a bed. They came in the other day and measured up. So I'm having the whole of that wall as a headboard. And then obviously a big bed put in. 
Um, we've just put my TV up on the bedside cabinets because um, we was going to put it on the wall and we've not got the right bits for the drill. So my dad has just gone on a little walk to see if he can get that. So that should be on the wall by tonight. And then I'm going to get a chair, like a fluffy chair here. Obviously this is my some of my wardrobe. This will not be my wardrobe though because I am going to have a dressing room in my second room. And then obviously my bathroom is through here. So I haven't actually got much to show you in my bedroom. The only things I have got is my bedding that I bought and obviously my duvet and everything. So first thing I got oh, the dormer pillows. They're called, again, from Dunelm, the Supreme Fill. Two pillows. I obviously got four. And then I got the Fogarty White white duck feather down duvet because my bed at the minute is only a king size but i am i am getting a super king i did buy super king duvet super king bedding other than the fitted sheet on the bottom which obviously i've got a king and a super king for when my other bed is ready so my mum has kindly washed my bedding i just got plain white in here i want it to be like cream and white and like fluffy like i want to come in here and feel like it's my well this whole apartment i want to come in and just feel like it's my place cozy comfort place but i got the same bedding as what i've got in ariana's and i'm actually getting the same bed more or less of what i didn't have in ariana's except for it's gonna be cream i'm getting the same mattress same bedding everything so i just got the it's just some plain white bedding from dunelm i think it was like the egyptian sateen bedding just plain so me and my mum are going to put this on the bed and hopefully then it'll feel a bit more like a bedroom. But in here, I feel like the whole apartment, obviously I've got little accessories or whatever, but I haven't got my furniture yet. I haven't got my sofa. I haven't got my dining table. I haven't got any furniture at all. I've just got accessories. So I feel like until that comes, it's not going to feel like my apartment. But hopefully before Christmas, it'll all be here. So the next six weeks or whatever, I should have it. The bedding is on. Obviously it's just plain white uh, oh it's so nice and cozy <sighs> i will sleep good tonight <sighs> there's so much and i've still got so much left to do but the curtains are up yet um they're getting fitted next week and the blinds so yeah i hope it don't get very light in the morning but then actually it's getting dark when the morning now and it's dark on the night so i'm gonna sleep just good and then when my bed is finally here my bed i feel like this room is just gonna be <sighs> sanctuary i can't wait i'm so excited i wish my furniture was here today but i guess it's something else to look forward to like obviously i had less than two weeks to sort everything to move in um because i only found out i was getting this place like last tuesday so we're now monday so I've known for like 12 days or something. So obviously furniture does not come that fast. You can't get stuff that fast. So fingers crossed I should have it all in before Christmas, which is only less than six weeks away now. By Christmas, this place is just going to be perfect. I need to get up and keep doing things. My dad's putting the TVs up and we realised we need an aerial or something to plug into the wall. So... Maybe I won't be able to watch telly tonight. But then saying that, I'll be able to watch Netflix and that's all I really ever watch. And the best thing about these apartments is the Wi-Fi box was already built in. So I just had to call them. It took like 10 minutes and I had Wi-Fi. I mean, could I spend anything better, really? I don't think so. So onto the kitchen. One of my favourite bits about the apartment. This was the first thing I ordered. Obviously, if you've watched my previous YouTube videos, you know that this is... I think that's, I put you on the hob. I think the hob's beeping at me. Anyway, back to what I was saying, if the hob didn't really interrupt. The first thing I ordered was my kettle. I knew I wanted this kettle for like a year. So, as soon as, wait guys, this is something special. So I got the Smeg kettle. I feel like I'm just making mess everywhere and then my mum and dad are just having to hide in the other rooms while I film and then tidy up after me. Sorry guys, but, can we just take a minute for this kettle? I can't wait. I'm going to put it on right now and make myself a cup of coffee. Like, how beautiful is that? The only thing is I wanted to put my kettle here, but there's no plugs. So it's going to have to go on the end there, but that's not the end of the world. 
Then, obviously I've got all the boring things. I don't know if you want to see, but I'm going to tell you which one anyway. This was just the 12 piece Nova Coupe set from NYX. And I got two of these because I hate, like, being out of things. Like, I had to get... I, I like all my things being the same. So all my, like, knives and forks, all my dishes and things all have to be the same. So I need to just buy extra now. I know I'm living by myself, but when my family come over and stuff, I do need, like, eight plates, eight balls, eight whatever. So that's what I got from next. From next as well, I got my glasses, my wine glasses, and these will be getting it used tonight. So I got the wine glasses and so this this apartment is so messy, full of boxes right now. My class here just gonna hit me. Already I was like, um hi, I've got two parcels here. He was like, already I was like, yeah, Mary Bedford. Here is my gin and my wine glasses. I got these from next. So I probably won't even really use a, a gin glass, but the wine glass are going to get used. So these are really nice. Let me show you. I feel like you're going to appreciate the shape. I really like the shape of these personally. The wine glasses. Very long. I should pop this one. So my glasses. If any of you ever come around for a glass of wine, you know where the glasses are kept. Right behind me. The gin glasses, nice big fish balls, ready to get me drunk. Here. Actually catching me out, I've just been to the shop and bought sweets. I haven't got any food in the house, none at all, just drinks and sweets. And my mum has put them in the cupboard for me. Expose me whilst I'm unboxing my glasses. So I'll put them on the top shelf for now. And I said I'm on a diet, I am on a diet, but you know, it's, it's a celebratory day. So, am I gonna have chocolate and a glass of wine? Yes, I am gonna have chocolate and a glass of wine. My glasses, I went to a place in Leeds called Red Brick Mill. If any of you know, if you're from Leeds, you probably would know it. It's a really nice place for like homeware. Quite pricey though, but yeah. So I got these um, tumblers because I couldn't find like glasses anywhere that's big. Like they was all tiny and I was thinking if I want a glass of water, I want like a big ass glass, not a tiny look. Oh, this dog. So yeah, I just got these. Plain ones, again, I just like simple things. There was like ones with gold round, whatever, but now I just want simple. So these are from LSA. Don't know where that is from, but from Red Brick Mill I bought them. And yeah, cute little glasses. And they all fit perfectly in my shelf. <laughs> I'm so excited, I'm like a full blown adult. Oh, my mum, this is actually the first thing my mum bought me for the apartment. And it's these little mugs with like an engraved love heart. How cute are they from the white company? So I've seen these the first day I went shopping and I bought my hot water bottle. My mum bought me these mugs. They're such a good size. I hate when coffee mugs are too small. Like in the morning, I need a huge coffee mug. I love the white company. I always buy my family stuff from the white company for Christmas. Like my mum is obsessed with the white company. She's, she probably got every single candle, every single diffuser, every single everything that the white company sell. My knives and forks again from the Red Brick Mill in Leeds. And this is Charingworth Cutlery. This was actually, ex I thought, expensive. Like, this was 50% off, and I paid £175 for, um, I think it's a 42-piece set. So again, because I didn't want to have on, like, four knives, four forks, four whatever, it was just cheaper to buy a bigger set because I want to just have everything, so I've always got cutlery. But I feel like cutlery, you only buy, like, once every few years, and... Look how cute it comes, like the full, it's really heavy. So I'm going to never run out of cutlery, which is great. And the spoons are a really funky shape. Oh my gosh. The, food, the spoons are a really funky shape, so I thought they was cool. I'm going to unpack this now, put them in the drawer, and I feel like that's going to be really satisfying just to see all my cutlery there laid out in front of me. Then one of my final things for my kitchen area is, again, the hand soap. The woman in Dior was a really good salesperson and she convinced me that I needed a, ha a, hand so a hand cream in my kitchen as well as a hand soap. So that's two things in my kitchen that no one's allowed to do more than one pump of. Great. The hand soap I got for in here, cause in my lounge, I'm doing like pink and red. So I'm doing all cream and then like pops of pink and red. So in the kitchen, I got a little pink hand soap. Oh my god, it smells so good. I got the Rose Ispahan for my um, kitchen soap and it's 
quite literally beautiful. And the cream that she convinced to buy, the woman, a Dior, you are a great salesperson. Grizz Dior hand soap, no, hand cream. How nice. Look how nice that looks. It was 100% worth it. You're actually about to die, so I'm gonna find the charge to plug you in, and then I'll show you my stuff I got for the lounge and my guest bathroom. Then I'm almost moving. As you can see, it's gotten dark now. We had to just nip to the shop to try and get an aerial for the TV. Um, we have got them, so the TV is currently on, but it is still on the side tables from my spare room because the TV stand that was in here isn't big enough for my telly. As you can see, my TV is currently still on two bedside tables, so I really need to hurry up and get the rest of the furniture delivered. In the lounge, I'm doing, I've got ordered a cream sofa, like a huge cream sofa. I'm gonna do all cream cushions. I got this from the White Company. I wanted like three of these, but they only had one in, but how nice is that? Can you imagine, I'm gonna have like a really cream, cozy, soft house. I seen Mitchell had these books and I literally had to get them. So I got the, Ibiza book. I don't know who these are actually by, but if you type into Google, like the Ibiza and Palm Beach books, these are what come up. So I thought these can like go on top of each other on my coffee table when it gets here or on my sideboard. And then I got this book that I am obsessed with because coffee table book. I didn't even know Cos did a book. So I'm gonna order some little cause statues for on top of this and maybe put it like on my sideboard as you're gonna walk in through the front door. That I'm actually really excited about, like that is so nice. Then to go on top of these, I got some candles. So these ones were just from Selfridges. I literally just seen them and there was like 20 pounds. I was like, oh my God, I can finally open the packaging. How amazing is that? I wonder if you actually have to like stand these on something to light them or can I just, will they just burn inside out? Not really too sure. And then I've got just the same one but a little white one. Look at them, how amazing. Something like this on my coffee table. You're getting the vibe. I got this big candle from HomeSense. So the doorbell just called and there was a lady downstairs with these from Selfridges. So I don't know what they are. Someone's obviously one of my friends has sent me a present. So let's open them and see what it is. I'm so excited. I can't believe I just caught that on camera. What is this? Oh my God, what the hell? I've got my first. Ah! Ah! My first bear bricks. <laughs> Mom and dad are just still looking at me. Whoever has sent me these, I love you so much, thank you. This is so exciting, there's so many presents. Look at that candle. Oh my God, this is amazing. This candle. Oh my God, I'm excited to open the rest. It's like Christmas. The chairs that I want to order for the bar stores, they're literally this print from Celeti, I think it's called, but they're so expensive. They're like 650 pound each and I need four. So I was like, do I just buy myself them for Christmas? Look at this plate. <laughs> it's a sign. Imagine if I had the bar stools with this matching. Guys, I'm so happy. Oh my God. I was literally looking at all this stuff online the other day. So these are little glasses, the Celeti glasses again. So they've got the lipstick one, the roses one, and the lips one. <laughs> Guys, I could cry. My mum has just tidied up the whole apartment and now there's just a massive heap of things. That's the lips one. So this is the lips that would be on the chairs that I want to get. It's a sign. I feel like I need to get them now. The lips one. This is the book that I bought. 
Alrighty, so now I'll probably swap my one that I bought for another one. But oh my god, I feel like the luckiest person in the world. Well, that still really just completely caught me off guard. I'm glad that I got that on camera because then you can all see what I've got. My last little bits that I've got for my lounge. Um, so I got these really nice candle holders from Selfridges because I found when I was at the Red Brick Mill the other day these really long bright pink candles and bread. So then I seen these and was like, these are actually perfect. Move back. How nice do they look? Don't know how you like things like this without the wax going everywhere, but we'll soon find out. I got this really nice tray. It was just from Tesco. Again, it was like, I tried to find this everywhere. It was either too big, too little, whatever. Then this one was on Tesco. It was such like 15 pound, next day delivery. Guys, I'm so excited to show you when it's finished. I'm gonna show you all my candles and everything lit when I've placed them all in my kitchen tonight. But obviously you will not get the full effect until my furniture actually does arrive in a few weeks. Right guys, I'm sorry, it's quite a lot later. Um, we had to tidy everything up. Like I'm literally opening boxes and just flinging it. Like, I was like, mom, I'm so sorry. Like I just kept messing up everything that she was tidying. So my mum and dad have gone now. We got rid of all the rubbish, took it down to the bins. We have actually got a bin shoot here, which was like one of the, my things. I was like, does it have a bin shoot? Because my friends and partners have a bin shoot. And I was like, this is so sick. It does have a bin shoot, but because there were such big boxes, we had to take them down to the basement. Anyway, that's boring. And you actually don't care at all about what I'm telling you right now. My mum and dad have gone. Bless them. They both have to drive back to Leeds now by themselves because they're still in separate cars. But my mum and dad, I know you watch this every week. So thank you for helping me move in. I'm just here now by myself with a glass of wine, celebrating. I know I said I wasn't drinking this month, but it's a big day for me. I've just moved into my first ever apartment. But I'm going to show you the bathroom. But this is my guest bathroom. My mum has actually unpacked everything for me so i'm just gonna pick it down and not unbox it in front of you because my mom's already done it all for me just to save time and this bathroom smells the best out of every room this is the nicest in my bathroom and oh, guys i'm excited to show you my car so obviously start off another fucking dior's up but this one's actually so nice. It's probably the nicest smelling one. It's the Jasmine Des Angers one. It's literally the best. These are actually so nice. Waffle towels from Zara. Like, can you see? How nice are they? Because I got these as my guest towels. I was just going to get the same ones as my bedroom. But then I thought, I'm going to get confused. So this, then I know these ones are the guest ones. So obviously they can have nice towels. And then I'll keep mine for myself. This is the main part of the bathroom. I've been so excited about this stupid tray Clarice has a tray of her bath in her house in her apartment and I was like I want to do that with my apartment so I literally was I don't know why I was so excited about this wooden tray like I feel like I used to get excited about bags and shoes now I'm getting excited over bathroom wooden trays but look how cute this looks my little waffle towels all rolled up this wooden thing I actually got from I got it from Amazon and um, like I said I got loads of stuff I might actually put this here this here this is for the soaps and I actually know Dior do a little soap so maybe I'll buy that tomorrow to match the hand soap it's in the white company the other day and I got this I can't really see spa bath and shower gel and it is in the escape it's called escape peach nectar and vanilla oh my god when i tell you it is amazing it comes in the spray as well this spray i'm literally gonna spray everywhere and the body cream so when people are staying at my house they can have a bath and smell amazing and it also comes with this like matching diffuser in the same scent and oh it's just so nice the little towels folded my mum's done for me. Oh, this is just my trusty Laura Mercier cream. I always wear this body cream if any of you ever care to wonder. And obviously just another thing that I probably know you don't care about, but I just got a little wooden toilet brush holder. I need to get a little bin for in here because in case my guests need a bin. But this is literally it for things to show you. I'm gonna actually show you my lounge in the dark now. The candles are lit, it looks so nice. And I'm just, I can't believe that I've got this apartment. Like if you would have told me this time last year that I was gonna have an apartment of my own in Manchester City Centre, this nice, 
like there's a spa downstairs in the ho in the hotel. I'm saying the hotel because it feels like a hotel. There is a spa downstairs in the apartment block. A spa. When my dad came today, my dad had not seen it yet, and he was like, "It's literally like a hotel. Like the concierge, everything. Like there's, it, it's just perfect. I can't believe that it's mine." Look how nice that candle is. These, I actually can't believe it. Like, how nice are these? 100% I'm gonna get the chairs um, for myself for Christmas. And the glasses, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these guys. Like, what do you do with display plates? Like, where should I put them? What do you think? Cause I feel like they're too nice for me to like not have out. And then the glasses and my little, my kettle, the, the kettle, I just love it. And my little, my candle's gone out, but look how nice it looks when it's all lit. Look at this. Oh my God, like I'm actually too scared to light the candle. It's that nice, I don't want to ruin it. I'm just here chilling in my apartment the first night, drinking a wine. I'm probably, I'm gonna get a bath in a minute, whack some music on and I can't believe I'm in. Like the next few weeks is gonna be so exciting getting all my furniture in here. Obviously I'll keep showing you guys when things turn up. Um, but in the next, before Christmas, this whole apartment is gonna be finished. Well, not finished because you can always add more at you but it's gonna be like my furniture is gonna be in here which is so exciting i wish i could show you guys but this apartment is actually on the canal like it looks out on the canal it is literally the nicest thing but yeah guys so i'm actually gonna bring this vlog to an end i will definitely show you guys more of the furniture when it keeps turned up more of the things i keep buying you know i'm definitely gonna i feel like this is gonna be my new bad habit is gonna be home shopping um, I've been doing it for the last two weeks and it's not healthy. It's really not healthy for my bank account. But am I going to stop? Probably not. So on that note, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers from me. See you on the next video. Bye, guys.